Hi, I'm Pastor Tammy, and I'm in charge of the marriage ministry here at Colonial. In 2022, we were challenged not just to care for the marriages inside our church walls, but to be intentional about reaching, blessing, and encouraging marriages all across our community. And we do that through a four-tiered marriage approach that follows the PEER acronym. We help engaged couples prepare for the marriage to come. We help establish new marriages with a firm biblical foundation. We enrich existing marriages and we restore broken marriages. We're here for you, whatever the age or stage of your marriage. Hi, I'm Arlen Burrows, and this is my wife, Aria. And we sing on the worship team at South KC campus, and we met in 2019 on a dating app. Hi, I'm Austin. I'm Bianca. Yeah, Pastor Jim set us up, <laughs> so that's how we met. If you want the short story, that's really... Yeah, really just ask Pastor Jim. Yeah. It, it was kind of like a staff like pooling chart of like who was going to set me up, preferably, uh -huh. on a date. and. I think Jim won in the end. My name is Kim Heimer, and I am married to Rusty Heimer, and we have been married for going on 33 years. We have two children, um, and we have four grandchildren. And we have been blessed to be part of uh, Colonial for 30 years. We chose Colonial as our wedding venue because we wanted our wedding and reception in one location and Colonial allowed us to do that. We got married in the Dalby, which was just a smaller, more intimate place. We also picked Colonial because we wanted to get married somewhere that felt like home. It's where we've worshiped together for the past couple of years throughout our dating relationship and we have a lot of friends that go here as well. Young there adult was group. a young adult group, yeah, at the Lighthouse at the OP campus, um, and Pastor Jim had invited me to come there. I was working in recruiting, and he said that would be like a great way to connect with people. Um, and I was still looking for community, and so I went, not knowing anybody, except maybe Pastor Jim. And then I walk in, and who else is there but Austin? And he didn't say hi to me at all, not one time. He I didn't was, even give me okay. eye contact, nothing. To be fair, I had a friend talking with me. Right. Gave me an in at the time to talk, and I took the opportunity, and, you know, haven't stopped talking since, really. Yeah. So, sure. yeah. got married December 29th of yeah. last year, and wow, which is crazy. So we got engaged a year after we met, and then got married six months later at a SKC. We have been involved in the marriage mentorship at Colonial for uh, probably seven or eight years now, working with uh, pre-married couples as they prepare for marriage and also working with couples who, who want to build their marriage, uh, make it stronger. We just really enjoy uh, the one-on-one -on -one time with, with these couples and getting to know them and just kind of coming alongside them and encouraging them. Just having a pastor there to guide you or having a couple there to guide you through this um, journey and through this relationship and through these years. It is such a valuable experience just to know kind of going into relationship expectations of what needs to be talked about or roles that will need to be talked about. And it's never too early to start investing in your marriage. Start as early as possible. I loved that we were a part of the premarital marriage mentor program. We were matched with a couple that actually attends church here at Colonial and it ended up being a great match. They really embodied who we are as a couple in terms of their career choice, their lifestyle, past relationships that they've had. Um, so that uh, matched with their love of Christ, it just ended up being a, an overall giant blessing as we headed into marriage. Reengage is a wonderful program that is open to the community and to couples within our church where they can come and, and learn how to be intentional about their marriages. I have learned that uh, I need to focus not on fixing my spouse, which is, a, I think, a common misconception. It's, it's most important to f focus on being a better servant for my wife, uh, for applying biblical principles, and working through uh, becoming less selfish and more of a servant. Marriage matters to us because God created marriage as a way for us to reflect Christ's love to our spouse. I think people are hungry and they're looking for 
two people that love each other and are willing to make a lifetime commitment because that's not so common anymore. And so it has a greater impact than I think we even realize. And I think people are hungry to see two people that love each other and are fueled, who, whose love is fueled by God. Aww. <laughs>